as Allah used to say to his prophets, فَاصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكْ إِنَّكَ بِأَعْيُنِنَا Be patient until the order of your Lord comes. We are ever so watching over you. Allah didn't leave us alone. Brothers and sisters, even the Prophet ﷺ said that there will come times in the future where the person who is holding on to their religion is like a person holding on to a thorn or a hot bead or a hot rod. It's not going to be easy. There are so many things against you. So he's telling us, keep going, keep holding on. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this life, as you all know, is temporary. And when people are gathered on the day of judgment, do you know what the, among the first things they say to each other when they come out of their graves? Allah says it in several passages in the Quran. In one of the passages, Allah says, قَالُوا كَمْ لَبِثْتُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ عَدَدَ سِنِينَ They will say, how long were you in the earth for? Some scholars, they said, it means how long were you under the ground, in the graves? SubhanAllah, we spend more time under the grave than over the grave. How long were you in the earth? Because everything's changed. The day of judgment, everything changes. And in other passages of the Quran, they receive different replies. Some say, not more than a day. Others, they say, a day or part of a day. That's how you will feel that this entire world was. Even in the grave, a day or part of a day. And that's when people will say, wow, a day or part of a day. That's all I had to be patient for. It passed so quick. So my brothers and sisters, hold on. Maybe holding on is hard for some people because they have issues with their parents, their families. Then I remind you of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam.